students from the Governor's School of the Arts, and you see it's Jacob Martin and Jordan Harper, and they would like to play a number for you before we read to all the children. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Is everybody ready for a story? Yeah. Okay. You what? Ah. <laughs> Santa, is that you over there? I believe oh, that's believe Santa, Santa over there. Did everybody get to see Santa today? <laughs> All right. Yeah, did you? Mrs. Claus, too. How about that? I know. Oh, really? Yeah, I do remember. All right. The... Uh, First Lady and I are going to uh, read an old Christmas uh, story to you. It's called, uh, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas." Now, I think you know, when I was growing up, you had to go to bed early because mm -hmm. I was told that if you weren't in the bed asleep, Santa Claus wouldn't come and bring any presents. That's right. Yeah, you think that's, you think that's true, don't you? Yeah, okay. Is it true, Santa? Have to get to bed early to get presents, yeah, very right? Early. So very everybody early. remember that. Santa's got a long trip to make. He has to go all around the world. But so. Today, I will He's right behind. Okay. Well, we'll let the first lady start. Okay. All right. And then when we're finished, <coughs> my son Brent and my daughter-in-law Brittany, they're back there, and they're going to be over here in the library, and they have a special book for you. Santa comes to West Virginia. So there's. Each one of you can take one home with you, okay? All right. T'was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came. And he whistled and shouted, and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, 
on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, ho, ho. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. It's like that. Good story, uh, huh? That is a good story. Is that how it is, Santa? That's exactly <laughs> how it is, isn't it? Yes. All right. You can get up now. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> And we're going to let them get around there so they can give you the book. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming around. They're coming around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Sure. Let me put the book down.